Hello, I am Susan Nielsen, the Student Outreach Coordinator. In the last video segment, we talked about how to organize, organize our daily tasks. And in this video segment, we're going to learn about how to organize our space. We talked about the double arches at Arches National Park in the last video. And in this one, we're going to continue with that idea of what forms that structure and the beauty and the majesty of the double arches. When I was in high school, I had the decision to make of continuing to be on the swim team or to join the academic decathlon team. I could not choose to do both at the same time because the practices took up two class periods and I didn't know which one to choose. My mom pointed out that my favorite deep thinking space, my bedroom, was a disaster. And as I thought about it, I thought, she's right. The reason why I can't make this tough decision is because I don't have a clean space to think. So I started thinking about this life coach model. It uses the acronym of CBEAR, and we will go through the different letters in the acronym. The first one is C, circumstance. In my dilemma, the circumstance was, it's observable facts or data. The observable fact was there are clothes all over the floor. The belief is my thoughts about it. My thought was, I can't think clearly. Okay. That's a judgment that's placed on the circumstances or my thoughts about the, th the circumstance. My emotion was unrest, unease, feeling stuck. Th those were my feelings. My actions were actually the lack of action as I kind of just sat there doing nothing, which my results prove my belief that I am not capable of making such a hard decision. So in the life coach model, the neat thing about this is you can change any one of these and it will change the results that you want. So in my case, I needed to change my circumstance so that I could change all of these to get different results, which we will come back to how I did that. But I want to use one more example about how this life coach model works. So let's use the belief it is hot. Okay, the circumstance is it is 98 degrees outside. Now, how would you be feeling if it's 98 degrees outside? Maybe some of you are thinking, gross, icky, I don't want it to be so hot. For me, it's excited. I felt excited because my action is I get to go jump in the swimming pool. And my results prove my belief it is hot and I like being hot. So that's how, that's kind of how this life coach model works. So from the circumstance, it might be 98 degrees outside. It might elicit negative feelings for some while it elicited um, excited feelings for me. So now back to my dilemma. I use three steps in order to clean my room or to clean any space that I have. Let's use a small space, for example. The first thing that I do is I remove everything. So today, I'm gonna to use this caddy to remove, to use as an example. So we're, we're going to remove all the contents, including the piece that helps organize it. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to clean the space. It could be a drawer, it could be your backpack, it could be your car, but make sure that you clean the space. And so right now I'm just gonna wipe it down. But included with, with cleaning out the space, you also want to clean, tidy up the contents that you had in that space. So you'll probably want a garbage, pan, garbage can readily available because you're gonna have some clutter that you just need to get rid of. You're also gonna probably want a donation box. So I actually wanna keep everything, but for the sake of example, let's say that I don't need this green pen. But I think, oh, there's somebody, I have a friend who might use this, so I'll set it aside for him. And then the third step is to simply replace all of the items back 
into the space. So I'm going to start with that little piece. And as you replace the contents of the space, you want to look for what is called prime real estate. The concept of prime real estate refers to places, areas where you want to put items that you use the most often. So you're going to want to be able to see them and you're going to want them easily accessible. So my item that I use the most is this black pen. So the prime real estate is going to be front of the caddy so that I can easily take it out. That's something that you want to consider as you organize your space. Just think of prime real estate. So those are the three steps that I use to organize my space. Join us for the next video segment about how to organize our thoughts, ideas, or our mind. And I will let you know the decision that I made, swim team or academic decathlon.